so now that we've added an enemy threat to the game, it's time to create a way for us to fight back. For this tutorial, we're going to create a Mario style Goomba stomp. So in this case, by hitting my monster on the head with my feet, I'll be able to destroy it. So let's get started. You may remember last tutorial that we set up our baby dragon sprite as a child of an empty game object. In this tutorial, we're going to see why. What we're actually going to do is we're going to make this empty game object into a weak point on our monster. So to do that, we're going to first of all just add a collider. In my case, I'm going to use a box collider 2D. And we're going to move that collider to the place that we want to be the weak point. My monster has spikes on its back, and so I'm going to make it so that if I jump right on top of its head, I'll be able to defeat it. Be careful to place this collider far enough back that you won't accidentally hit it when you're jumping over the enemy. The other thing we need to do is make it so that Unity actually knows that this is the weak point. In my case, I'm going to do that by using a tag. So you can move up to the tag here, and you'll need to create a new tag by clicking Add Tag. You can then hit plus and type in weak point. Then go back to your monster, and for its tag, you can find the weak point tag. All right, now the other thing we're going to do is make it so that our player has a special box collider of his own on his feet. Main reason we want to do this is we don't want it to work out so that if our player, say, is jumping up through a platform and hits the monster with his head, that he defeats him that way. We want to make sure that it's actually the feet have to hit that collider in order to deal the damage. If you've been following my 2D side scroller tutorials, you will already have a feet position attached to your player character. That said, if you haven't done that yet, all you need to do is click on your player sprite and create an empty game object. In that empty game object, you'll add a, another box collider 2D and edit the collider so that it just covers the character's feet. At this point, we're ready to get scripting. We're going to create a brand new script here, and I'm going to call mine Monster Stomp. Now, this script is actually going to be very simple. We're not going to need anything in our start or update functions. What we do want, though, if our feet happen to collide with the monster's weak point, we want to destroy the monster. So we're going to create an on collision enter 2D. And we want to check to see if the thing we've collided with, if it's game object, has a tag that is called weak point. Then we'll make some curly brackets. And down beneath here, all we're going to want to do is destroy the collision dot game object. This is a little different from last time when we used destroy game object to destroy the player. We don't want the player to be destroyed. This is going to be on the player, and what we want is that the thing he collides with to be destroyed. Now this is also why we put the weak point for our monster in the parent object, because that way when we destroy the parent object, the graphic will disappear with it. At this point, we can click on our player character, move to his feet position, and we can add the monster stomp script onto there. At this point, you may need to do just a little bit of reconfiguration with your colliders. For example, if I zoom in on my monster, you want to make sure that if you run into him head on, that you're not going to be stopped by the head collider and not be able to touch the one that's on his body. So in my case, I'm actually just going to make sure that the dragon sprites collider protrudes just a little further than the one on his head. And then I'll go to the top collider there. I'm actually just going to pull this one back a tiny bit so that I don't accidentally hit it when I'm actually running into the enemy. All right, so now things should be working nicely. You'll notice that when I bump into the monster, my health drops. But if I am able to jump up top here and then drop down on his head and hit the weak point with my feet, I destroy the enemy. All right, go ahead and give this one a try for yourself.